Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 27-year-old female with complaints of visual disturbance, also no periods for the past few years, and they wanted to get an MRI of their brain and pituitary gland. Uh, pituitary problems can cause hormonal dysfunction. And so on this view, we see a profile of the patient. We see their nose, lips, tongue, and this is called their cerebrum, this big part of the brain up here. We see their cerebellum down here in the back. And we see this structure in the middle. This is their brain stem. And in front of the brain stem, we see a structure here. There's a little cup called the cella tersica. And within the cella, we see a um, looks like an egg here. This is part of the pituitary gland that's enlarged. So this patient's main problem is a large pituitary gland. And there's a front of it called the adenohypophysis. There's also another part in back, this bright here called the neurohypophysis or the posterior pituitary. So this patient has a large adenohypophysis or a large pituitary gland in the front and is growing upwards and pushing on a structure here. This is the optic chiasm. It's growing out of the cella and we call it supracellar extension and pushing on the optic chiasm and that's causing her visual disturbance. On this view we see the same thing. This is the enlarged pituitary gland and this is the cup to cella. The cell is expanded a little bit, and again, the pituitary mass comes up here and pushes on this line. And we're going to see this line on another view, probably here. Yeah, so this is a good view of this. We're looking straight on at the patient now. Here's the top, right, left, and the pituitary gland that's enlarged right here. So this is a pituitary mass, and there's a gray line here. This is the optic chiasm. The nerves from the eyes come together. Here's one. Here's the other, and we're going to watch them come together. Here we go, here we go. And here they bridge right together, combine, and then they separate back out. Here's one, here's the other. So when they come together, we call this the optic chiasm, and the pituitary gland is right beneath that. So when the pituitary tumor grows large like this, it can grow up into the supracellar cistern. The cella is down here where the pituitary gland should be. But when it grows up, it, if it grows big enough, it'll push on the optic chiasm just like this. We see the optic chiasm is elevated and compressed, and that's what's causing their visual disturbance. So a very classic clinical history of um, visual disturbance and hormonal dysfunction. Now, the other thing we look for in the pituitary gland uh, uh, is uh, does it invade or encase or displace or compress the carotid artery. So here's one artery here. looks normal. And here's the other artery here, and we see the tumor has grown to the left, and it goes over the top of that artery. And it may be pushing it outwards just a little bit, but it's not significantly compressed, and it's not completely encasing this. So when they do surgery, they don't have to try to go all the way around the, the carotid artery. One more view of the same thing. Here's an optic nerve on the right, optic nerve on the left. We're going to watch those come together. Now they just came together here, the optic chiasm. And look right below that, we see the pituitary tumor, we call this a macroadenoma, it's bigger than one centimeter, and it's elevating and compressing that optic chiasm. And that's it, a pituitary macroadenoma causing the patient's symptoms, and thank you very much.